Welcome to our encoder features video, where we explain the benefits of adding encoder feedback to a step motor system. Step motors are popular because they are low cost and easy to use, but experienced users know that the first time you violate the laws of physics, the motor stalls without warning. By adding an inexpensive encoder, the system can operate closed loop, avoiding traditional limitations. Encoders are available on applied motion motors ranging from NEMA sizes 11 through 34. The encoder connects by a simple cable to the encoder feedback port that's available on many of our drives, including our DC-powered ST5 and 10 and the AC-powered stack drives. STM models can also be ordered with an internal encoder. At the heart of a step motor is a permanent magnet that rotates on bearings called the rotor. The other critical part is the stator, a series of electromagnets surrounding the rotor. When the drive sends electric current through the stator, the resulting stator field forces the rotor to react. If the stator current is properly controlled, a step motor can perform impressive feats, accelerating at precise rates to exact speeds and stopping on a dime with great accuracy. Because step motors produce less torque at high speeds, if they're overloaded, it can stall out. By adding an encoder to the system, the drive knows where the rotor and load are at all times. Stalls can be detected immediately, and the driver can be configured to tell other equipment. Our advanced algorithms and electronics can also prevent stalls from happening by slowing the motor down until there is enough torque to meet the demand. Now let's see it work. I've connected the encoder on the back of this NEMA 23 step motor to an ST10Q driver. We've also mounted a knob on the front shaft of this beast so it'll be easier to stall. I'll watch what happens when I overload the motor by grabbing the shaft with my hand. Now this is what you get with an open loop system. Now we're going to use the ST configurator software to turn on stall detection. First, I'll open the encoder dialog and select Fault Drive if motor stalls. I've already set the rest of the encoder settings, so I'll click OK to dismiss that dialog. Let's bring up the I.O. settings now. I want to choose Close Alarm Output if a fault occurs. That's output Y3 by default, which is what we've wired our LED to. Now we click download to send the settings to the drive. Let's see what happens now. The motor still stalls, but we get an immediate indication that a stall has happened. The output that's driving this LED could also be connected to another piece of equipment so that you could signal the stall electronically. Stalls and encoder position can also be monitored by sending streaming commands over RS-232, RS-485, CAN open, Ethernet, or Ethernet IP. Now let's try stall prevention. I'm once again going to open the encoder dialog, but this time I'll check the stall prevention box. Now let's click download and see what happens when we try to stall the motor. Now that stall prevention is engaged, I can grab the shaft. The motor will slow down, but it'll keep turning. Of course, if I apply enough of a load, it'll stop altogether and spin back up when I let go. The important thing is that the driver never loses track of position. As you've seen, adding an encoder to your step motor system can unlock many advanced features that can help make your application successful. For more information, please visit us at www.applied-motion.com or call us at 1-800-525-1609.